Hey guys, welcome to my discussion on visual analytics using Tableau. In my last session, I discussed about the process flow of a BI project. Today, I'm going to talk about how we can connect a particular data set to a Tableau desktop and we'll make some simple visualization. Apart from that, I will also talk about Tableau data types, the connection types and the Tableau interface. So let's start our discussion today. So let's first connect a simple flat file. In this example, I will try to connect to a Microsoft Excel file. This particular file is a data set of a sales of a product. So the particular file contains all the description regarding a product sales. So this is a typical sales report. This particular sales report contains the sales in terms of customer, in terms of order priority, in terms of regions and product type subcategory and category of product we can also see this particular sales file also contains the number of quantity ordered the profit that is has been uh, achieved in the sale of this particular product and the order id this file is a typical example of a raw data now let's connect this file to our tableau desktop and see how tableau converts this raw data into meaningful information in order to connect this file, we have to go to the connect section of this particular interface. So this is the first interface of Tableau desktop. The file that we're going to work with is a Microsoft Excel file. Tableau provides a different connection type for this kind of file. In this connect session, we can see apart from Excel file, we can also integrate text, Microsoft access, PDF file and statistical file also. In my future discussions, I will teach you how we can connect to a different file types, whether it's a file or a database. I will show you all the steps of how we can integrate with different file types or multiple data source. Now let's connect to the Excel file and see how Tableau help us to do the visual analytics on this particular data set. In order to connect this file, click on Microsoft Excel and select the file from the source where the file has been stored. So let's select this file and see how Tableau process this particular file. So we can see Tableau is processing this file. In the background of Tableau, Tableau is actually ev evaluating the size of this file. In terms of large data set, Tableau has an excellent capability of compressing that particular data set and convert it into a Tableau desktop file. Now, here is the first interface where you can see the file details. This particular section of Tableau desktop is called the data source, data source option. In this particular screen, we can see the file name, the file type, and all the tables that are present in that particular file. For this example, we can see there are three tables over here, orders, returns, and users. Our main work of area will be working with the order table. So let's double click this order table and see how Tableau is, is populating this data into Tableau data source option page. Now we can see Tableau is loading all the rows and columns that are present in this particular table of this file. The name of the table is orders and the name of the file is store sales data. Now here uh, we can see a lot of options in this particular data set. Let's take each option individually and discuss about it. In this particular page, we can see on the top of each column name, there are small icons. These particular icons are nothing but Tableau data types. Tableau uses seven types of data types and for each data type, Tableau has assigned a different icon. In this particular data set, we can see for integer data type, Tableau is using a hash icon. For text data type, it's using ABC. Like this, Tableau has seven different types of data types. Let's discuss about the data types that Tableau provides us. So here are the data type icon that Tableau actually provides for users. The first is the text for which we use ABC. The second is the date value. The icon is like a calendar icon. For date at time, we use a calendar with a clock icon. For numerical value, Tableau uses hash icon. For boolean values, it uses 
t slash f true or false for geographical values it uses an icon of a globe and for cluster group it it has a different icon with a paper pin and a small graph attached with that so each icon represents different types of data that a particular data set contains so in our case we can see this particular data set contains hash for integers abc for text and for regional data like geomaps or geodata like state regions country city it is using a globe icon so these are the data types that tableau actually provides while working with your data set let's come to the second section that is connection tableau provides two types of connections one is live and one is extract so what is a live connection and what is an extract for live connection if your data set is too large and it is resided in a remote place and the data is updating every minute or every hour or every day in that case it is not possible to copy that big set of data into a local system and work on that for that thing tableau has provided us with an option called live under live connection we connect to that particular data set and we work on that dynamic data set from our tableau desktop now what is extract extract is basically copying that particular data set into a local system and working on that particular data set on your tableau desktop for extract connections you have the ability to copy that data and work around that data working around reports and dashboard the difference between live and extract is live in live connections we connect to the data set that is resided remotely and the data size is too big to copy into a local system but in extract we copy the data set to our local system and we can work easily on the particular data set using functions or we can also do modeling on that particular data set one important thing to remember guys we can refresh both types of connections for extract we can schedule the refresh manually and for live we can schedule the refresh as per the data source and the infrastructure that the live data set is containing apart from connection type we can also see an option called filters i will talk about filters separately in my future discussions we can also see the name of the file and the table that the file is providing us tableau also offers you the option of joining and blending with your data suppose we want to join return table with order so we can see tableau is automatically providing in order to join a table in tableau we need to drag the other table beside the first table and we can see tableau provides you automatic join connection between these two table basically tableau provides four types of connections the first is is a inner join the second is left the third is right and the fourth is full outer join i will talk about joining and blending in my future discussions there is a separate section where i will discuss about what type of join tableau offers and how how we can perform joins between the data multiple data sources or data sets so this was all about the data source interface of the tableau desktop application now let's move with our next session where i will actually convert this particular data set into meaningful information through visual analytics in order to develop your reports there is a different section that tableau provides for going to that particular section we need to click on this sheet one where we will be taken to the next section of this tableau desktop in this particular page we can develop all the reports or visualization that is required for a particular data set before we start working with the visual analytics part there are few things that is very important for us to know we can see there are two sections in the left hand side of this particular page the first is dimension and the second is measures guys each data set in this world is divided into two parts that is the first is dimensions and second is measures so what are dimensions dimensions are those columns on which we cannot perform mathematical operations and measures are those columns on which we can perform mathematical operations 
What do we mean by mathematical operations? Suppose in this measures, we can see the value on which we can do quantitative analysis like discount, product base margin, profit, quantity and sales. We can perform mathematical operation on this kind of columns. We can also work around finding the average sales, average profit or the average discount that is offered on the product sales. In the dimension section, we can see the column names that are there. We cannot perform mathematical operations like ship date, product category, product container. So we cannot perform mathematical operations on these kind of columns. These are all reference columns. We can say we can use these columns along with majors to develop our visuals. Now we can also see some integer data types over here. So what are these integer columns? These are custom customer ID and order ID. These columns are contains the unique value of the customer and the order that are given by the customers. Now we cannot perform mathematical operations on this kind of column, even though they are integer in nature, because we cannot perform, cannot find out an average customer ID. We cannot take out any decisions by adding all the customer ID, right? That's why these columns, even being though they are integer in nature, they are in dimensions. Now one more important thing that you should keep in mind, each dimension pill or column name is always blue in color and the margins are always gray in color and each column name or each dimensions or major is known as pills in tableau so whenever you see a green pill that means i it is a major and whenever you are working with some blue pills it is a dimension apart from this we can see other sections of this particular page in the marks sections, we work on the formatting of the visuals. We can work with the color, size, and the leveling of visuals with the, with the help of these options. We perform the filter option from these sections. Apart from this, all columns and rows are maintained by these two shelves. These are called pages, filters, marks. These are all known as shelves in Tableau. This particular shells, each and every shells in this particular page has their own roles to play in developing a visual. Now let's talk about one more important option that is show me. Show me is that section of Tableau desktop which contains the default visualization that Tableau provides you. We can see there are 24 default visualization that Tableau provides. When you hover your mouse on each of the visuals, you will will able to know the name of the visuals along with how many dimension and measures is required to achieve that particular visuals. For example, if I hover my mouse over this visual, you can see it's saying horizontal bars and it takes zero or more dimensions or one or more measures. Means you can develop a bar only with measures or you can develop with the help of measures and dimensions both. So let's start working with some basic visuals. Suppose you have got a scenario where you have been asked to show the sales as per the product subcategory. Now we can see product subcategory is under dimensions and sales is under major. So let's select these two options and see how Tableau helps you to convert this particular data into a powerful visualization. So in order to select this particular options, click on product subcategory, press your control key in your keyboard and select cells and go to show me and see you can see that tableau is offering you some basic visuals which you can do with this dimension and major options out of these visuals tableau is highlighting this horizontal bar apart from this horizontal bar we can see we can also develop other visuals and the other visuals we can develop from this particular dimension and measures are text tables, tree map, pie chart. Apart from these of visuals, the other visuals are being grayed out. So let's select this particular visual horizontal bar and see how this particular dimension and measure is converted to a meaningful visualization. Click on this bar and see your data has been visualized in terms of subcategory and sales. So for each of the subcategory, we can see the sales value for that particular 
So in this case, we can see appliance, the sales value is 4,56,723. So we can see how fast Tableau converts this particular dimension measures into a powerful visual. Now, Tableau also gives us the option to arrange this visual from ascending or descending order. So in order to sort this visual from ascending or descending order, there are two icons that are, that are provided in this particular menu bar. The first icon allows you to arrange the sales figure from ascending order or second item allows you to arrange it into descending order. So let's click on this descending order icon and see our visuals have been sorted from in a descending order. Now we can see the highest sales value has moved to top and the lowest sales value has been shifted to bottom. So this is the way we can arrange this particular sales value as per their sales value. We can also label this particular bar graph with the sales value beside each bar. In order to label this bar graph, we have two options. Either we can drag this sales value over the label mark. Once you do this, we can see beside each bar, the sales value for that product subcategory has been listed. And the other way is we can also drag it back to major and click on this T icon that is beside that is just below the column shelf i mean just above the column shelf so once we click on this t icon we can see the sales value has been populated beside each bar so this was a basic visualization that i want to explain you guys and wanted to say how tableau is powerful in converting this particular dimension and majors into a meaningful and high end visualization in my next segment, I will work around simple aggregations and how we can format the data in a particular visual. I will also talk about global and local aggregation. I will also take an example of a different visual and will teach you how we can apply aggregation at the visual level and in the global level. Thank you for watching this video, guys.